code friends so today's video is going to be a different one for me i'm sure you guys have heard of the no oils and no butters challenge or no butters and no oils det hair detox for natural hair well guess what i'm going to be trying to do my hair with no butters and no oils so this is the very first week and honestly i wasn't going to record it and that's why you can see this video is taken at a different angle in my shower than it usually is this was a last minute idea and it's just sitting on my shower mirror anyways i just wanted to show you the condition of my hair right now i for some reason i think i have some curl definition and that's what i was showing in this video but honestly my hair has really come a long way and this is not a how-to video just want to preface this video by saying that this is not a how-to video this is just me sharing my experience and sharing my new healthy hair journey so i have actually been doing the detox for oh, over a month now so you can see in this video how some of the techniques are incorrect and you'll be able to see the progress over the next couple of weeks as i share these videos so this video was done before i was taught the correct way the, the, the correct technique and before i started using high quality products and before i even got my curly cut so this is just me being a novice and not really knowing what i'm doing but trying to ease my way into this detox so for christmas i ordered some of the uncle funky's daughters hair products for my hair because i was trying to do a lot of research over the winter break to see what kind of products black girls curls would suggest without you know paying because i didn't know if it was really worth it in the end i think it is but we'll get there So if you're interested in seeing the products that I actually bought for Christmas, go ahead and check that video out. I did a whole natural hair haul slash what I bought for Christmas video. And I'll leave that link in the cards above and in the description box below. But right now I'm just gonna to touch on a few of the products that I actually used this particular wash day. Again, this is me prior to partnering with a Cut It Kinky alum. And I am just, washing my hair how i know best to do i decided to use uncle funky's daughter products because in looking at the videos and free materials i found that some of their products were common between people who consider themselves tight curl specialists or educators and this is prior to me paying any money because like I said, I didn't know the worth or the value of it. So I'm just using the Uncle Funky's Daughter Deep Cleansing Shampoo. It is a clarifying shampoo. It says it's for natural, chemically treated or heat styled hair. The crystal clean kit that I got had two ounce trial sizes. There was a card that came along with it that explained how to properly use each of the products that were in the kit. Each month, you're supposed to wash your hair with a squeaky deep cleansing shampoo. And you follow that with the Heal and Renew Intensive Hair Mask. And then you style it using the Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream from root to end. One thing that I learned from Black Girl Curls is that you don't really need to deep condition your hair every single wash day. So one of the videos that I watched on their Instagram, they said that deep conditioning is to solve a problem. So... You're only deep conditioning if you have a problem with your hair. So most times you probably don't have a problem unless you're like me and you have like a bunch of split ends and single strand knots. But most times you don't have a problem and you don't really need a deep conditioner each time you wash your hair. Now the shampoo like i said before you can see that i'm not using well i am kind of smoothing my hair but there's other techniques that i was taught later on that are very useful when shampooing your hair during wash day 
this was also before I got my curly cut so as you can see in this particular clip that my hair was very difficult to run my fingers through so I noticed that I had a lot of single strand knots and a lot of split ends which is why I wanted to do a little bit more research and find something that can help my hair out because I felt like it was very damaged and I struggled I really struggled to do my hair and I don't think it should take as long as I was taking to do my hair. So I wanted to find something that would just help make my life and my wash day a lot easier. Their products are free of mineral oils, paraben, synthetic dyes, sulfates, and phthalates. And now with this no oils and no butter challenge, you're not supposed to be using products that have oils and butters in the first five ingredients or raw oils and butters like shea butter you're supposed to focus on the ends of your hair which are the oldest parts of your hair and they are more prone to breakage than the newer parts closer to your roots so you, when you do conditioner you usually focus on your hair and not necessarily your scalp i use the heal and renew intensive hair mask this one has silk protein, avocado, and baobab oils. Once again, there's an oil there, and let's look at the ingredients really quickly. Water is the first thing. Behin trimonium methyl sulfate is the second. Cideral alcohol, aloe vera juice, and glycerin are the first five ingredients. So there's no oil in the first five ingredients, but number six is definitely an oil. So I just follow the directions that are on the jar and it just says apply to cleanse what hair from roots from roots to end cover with plastic cap and let stand for five minutes or apply heat for 30 minutes and then rinse so I applied this to my full head and then I put on a cap and my hot head for 30 minutes and I rinsed it out and in the next clip you can see that I was in the kitchen rinsing my hair out which is a big no-no and I definitely learned my lesson here when you are washing your hair you are supposed to be washing it in the same direction all the way through so if I'm in the shower washing my hair back I don't want to then go in the sink and wash my hair and push my hair up over my head and into my face because it's just going to make my hair more tangled and it's just better to be consistent all around with your hair. So I learned that this was a no-no and my hair definitely was tangled and it took me a little bit longer to detangle it again. We know that the number one source of moisture is water. You have to wash your hair and add water for your hair to be moisturized. And one thing that I learned from this detox so far is that when you use oils and butters for the LCO or LOC method, you are essentially locking the moisture in with the oil. But when you put the oil on top, it's really hard for anything to penetrate your hair afterwards. So if I lock in the moisture with oil on my hair, then the next thing I put on it, which is supposed to be water, is gonna be hard to penetrate my hair shaft. So one question that I like um, that the Black Girl Curls posed was, is your hair really low porosity or are you making it that way with the products you're using? So if oil is sitting on top of my hair, of course no water is gonna be able to penetrate which is a characteristic of low porosity hair. Your, the water sits on top of your hair, which may be a cause of the oil. So, ooh, this thing is hot. Just took it out of the the microwave and I'm gonna let it just sit here. I have a clip here, so that's why it's not gonna close all the way down. But 
this is the best I can do for now. In this clip, you can see that I just rinsed my hair out in the sink and this is how it looks and it's tangled. So yeah, I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner and the cream to do my normal twist out. Twist outs are my go-to style. I do twist out almost every week and I feel like I do a really good job at twist outs and I've kind of perfected it in my mind. Um, so I do twist outs a lot. And so I did a twist out this time. Like I said before, it took a lot longer to style my hair because my hair was tangled again because I used a shower to wash and condition and then I used a sink to rinse out the conditioner. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you how I wore my hair after I styled it. I kept the twist in for three days. So I did my hair on February 16th and I kept the twist in through the 19th. And this picture here is on the 21st. So that is three days wearing this twist out. And to me, this is, this is how my hair normally looks. If I'm comparing it to my hair right now, this is dry. So my hair has a long way to go. And if you are interested in seeing the continual progress of my hair after doing the no oils and no butter detox, click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified on the next time I post, which will be me just showing you week two. Also give this video a big thumbs up and then I'll see you next week. Bye.